Warren is a procedurally generated sandbox game from Voxelware. The project is set for release on March of 2020, so let's start. According to the story, several hundred years ago, cataclysmic eclism on a grand scale nearly destroyed your galaxy and an impassable ring of torn hyperspace appeared in the center of it, which conventional engines cannot overcome. For centuries, humans have not been able to get there, but they have learned that Ixotan aliens and a strange new metal called Evorion have appeared there. The latter is bound to contribute to the construction of ships that traverse the strange ring. First of all, everyone who arrives will have to master the game's main and key tool, the ship editor. By default, pilots have access to only one small mining drone, which despite its modest size, can hold an incredible amount of ore from the mined asteroids. There are several varieties of ore in the game, each with its own characteristics, strange and weight parameters. Each new material offers a number of items that cannot be made from a more widely available analog. For example, titanium can be used to make a new generators and energy storage device, while iron, more common, on the fringe can only be used to make solar panels. The number and purpose of parts will please the die-hard Cosmos fan. There are shunting engines, cargo bays, dampeners, cabins, turn control systems, docking models, gyroscopes, and a host of other useful elements, not to mention cosmetic delights. Although predominantly hexagonal blocks are used for assembly, Decorative parts and armor are available in other fragile formats, allowing the player with proper diligence to assemble the ship exactly as he can imagine it, and handy tools will help to fulfill his wishes almost painlessly. There is another extremely useful feature available to users in the assembly process, the characteristics of the chips, which change in real time depending on the device you plan to mount. That is, by installing the engine and select dimensions, you can immediately see how much power it will add to the ship, how much it will weigh and consume power, it's a very convenient solution. The game has many curious features that came as a surprise. For example, a crew must be hired aboard the ship, as well as the fleet as a whole, and will be accommodated and paid for. Allocate mechanics to handle repairs, fighters, pilots, assign people to supervisory positions, and assign people to be in charge of security. All gun and extraction systems require personnel on a mandatory basis. Initially, the player has a low-powered ship with several limited capabilities. To upgrade it, one ore is not enough. Have to spend large sums on upgrades and suitable modifications to seek the appreciated stations scattered throughout space. There you can also buy used items, target star maps and a variety of weapons. Everything is randomly generated in the stores. Unfortunately, although the guns here can be modeled externally, it has no effect on their power, you have to shell out for a powerful arsenal. After that, you can build a large mining ship, absorb tons of asteroids and sell it all to the nearest mine. The proceeds are very useful. You can take up trading if you equip your ship with a large cargo bay and get some startup capital. The map is incredibly huge, you can find a lot of occupied sectors where you can buy and sell goods as implemented in most cosmos. You can assemble a small flotilla of remote-controlled ships and hunt for the heads of pirates or compete with the aliens. In addition, no one forbids you to mess with one of the many local factions. There are boss ships in the game. To defeat them, you will need resources and powerful weapons. The game has very nice destructibility mechanics. Fragments of objects consisting of blocks are flying off piece by piece or whole models if the supporting structure is broken. In battle, the ship can lose vital system, lose its armament or even fall apart choose the location of the element's whistle. 
Unfortunately, the project is not without its shortcomings, such as unreasonably protracted quests, periodic bugs, inconvenient fleet management, weak AI and rather empty world. However, all this is quickly forgotten if you break into a warrior on a new, painstakingly assembled ship in the company of friends. A cute, not overly resource-intensive space box is a gift for players who have long dreamed of building ships to their own specifications. In spite of the fact that a warren has a single-player mode, it's designed for a multiplayer. Servers are now a lot, they also play more than enough people, in addition, you can always invite friends to your own randomly generated right. Mind Top Fossils, build a giant battleship, invite your comrades aboard and go to conquer the galaxy with the support of a huge flotilla.